viewers, I have some really cool news. So you guys heard that I'm getting a new van. I'm gonna talk to you guys more about that. And uh, in the meantime, I wanna um, just tell you guys, thank you guys so much for your support and um, your encouragement over these past two pretty difficult months. Not just financially, but emotionally. A lot has happened, as you guys heard. A lot of negative things have happened to me. And uh, if I'm being honest, I've done a couple of negative things too because of it and the results of it. Um, I kicked a kid out of my van kid well he acted like a kid so I took somebody out of my van he was homeless for a few days and it's the last thing I ever wanted to have happen on my channel I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about that later but um I have some good news that of course we're getting a new van not that one that's my our, our current one but we're getting a new van it's a high top van it's a 2002 uh GMC uh Savannah high top it's super nice. I love it. It needs some work. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It does need some work, but it's a beautiful uh, looking van. It needs needs to clean up. Needs uh, probably some rugs cleaned out and stuff. And, uh, remember, if you guys ever want to join me on a video, you need, you need to welcome to call me or text me. I actually have a business number, like a public YouTube number, that you guys are welcome to call or text me on any time, day or night. Uh, and I mean that too. The only thing I ask is don't pester. That's all. That is all. I don't know. I feel like this could be, become a problem in the future. But um, I'm going to go, go wing it, you know. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Let me talk to you guys more about the van in the next part. So as you guys heard, I'm getting a new van. Again, the live streams, I don't know why. They, the videos, they don't. Um, unfortunately, the audio doesn't work very good. My phone, I need to get a new one soon because my audio um, is causing me a lot of problems. Especially on live streams. I don't know why. I thought maybe going outside would help the video. But unfortunately, it doesn't. So... Um, yeah, decided to go for a little bit of a walk though, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on. So, not this weekend, but next weekend, uh, we're going out to um, Pueblo to go look into trading um, the van I have currently um, for a high top van. It's one of those ones you can actually stand up in. It's very, it's a 2002, so it is older, but not as old as my van. And um, it does need some work. My van doesn't need anything, but th this one does. Uh, my van, really all it needs right now is the, the window replaced because of the psychotic moron that busts my window. By the way, thank you, sir, for doing that. That was very selfish of you. And um, then I need to get on that van the, the vacuum. I'm talking about my Dodge. The vacuum lines need replaced. Obviously, that window I showed you guys. And then um, the four, or four new tires for the van. Okay, that's it. All right. Doesn't need alignment, doesn't need um, anything. Oh, and then, yeah, the vacuum lines, I already said that. And uh, that's it. Uh, then an oil change, but that's, that's you know, maintenance. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing for this lady who is trading with me is um, she's, going, she's coming from Dallas, Texas, uh, getting a rental, driving all the way out here to Pueblo, Colorado. That's a long drive. I'm not in Pueblo right now, I'm in Denver. And um, she's driving all the way out here and um, that's a long drive. I know it. And then she's got to pick my van up and drive all the way back home down to Dallas. And I know what a drive that is. I've done drives like that. So it's a lot. I know how much she's driving. So um, I, I told her, I said, look, because she's doing a really fair trade, I believe. Um, I mean, her van's got problems that, you know, it, it needs some work. But I know how to work on it. But for the amount that, that for the trade that we're doing is really a blessing. And so I decided, I said, look, why don't I give you $100 towards your gas? I said, before I, pick, before I come down to see you guys, I'll fill the tank up and then... Um, I'll give you a hundred bucks. That way you don't have to spend so much on the trip. The trip for the van at least is like one, um, I think it's like 150, something like that. I'm not really sure. And um, it, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, the price wise to get from here, from Pueblo to Dallas. I think it's like 150 something, I forget. So I said, look, why don't I just cover a 50 extra or a hundred extra. That way you don't only have to pay like 40, 50, maybe 60 bucks in gas. Um, and um, that'll help you. Um, the, it will need an oil change, so if you're watching this man, make sure you get the oil change in the van in case you're watching my channel. Um, and then, like, it does, uh, I think it's burning oil. It burns a little, I was telling her about that, burns a little bit of oil. So, like, every 500 miles or so, you better check it. That's all I, I that's usually what I do. I have to, if, I, if it's topped off level, I think 500 miles, I'm like less than halfway. So, that's when you want to add it. You don't let it get down to low because then you can, you know, you can ruin the engine that way. I've taken very good care of this vehicle. 
<laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I've uh, taken very good care of this vehicle. And so um, it's been a very dependable vehicle, as you guys know. You guys know I also baby the thing. I don't drive fast. The fastest I go in this van is like, what? The fastest I've ever gotten this thing, I think, was 75. And that was really pushing it. I don't drive fast because I take care of what I own. Um, before, I, I, I never really drove fast to begin with. But before I had... Um, a van and before I even had like before I lived in my truck I had a camper right and so I didn't really care about too much about my truck I didn't really take care of it like I should have I just pushed everything to a side and so um, I decided that, that things were going to be different once I got a truck uh, once I lived in my truck because I have to depend on that I have to know that things going to start every time so um, you know and so I took care of my vehicles better and this one when I bought this van right my, my orange van I'm talking about my Dodge um, I bought it for, I don't remember how much, I think it was, well, I'm not going to say, but I think I know how much I bought it for, I forget though. And, um, but I got it and it needed a bit of work. So I had to replace the thermostat on this van. I replaced, um, the, uh, coolant fluid, of course. I did that a couple times. I wasted a lot of money buying coolant because it was a leak. I didn't want to use water because it's not really... You know, you can do it, you know, short term, but not long term. And um, what else did I get done? I got the um, oil change, obviously. And um, I'm trying to think what else I got. I got some other stuff done to it that needed to get done to it. Um, but yeah, um, what else got done to it? I don't know, but there was stuff that, that I got done. Um, oil change, thermostat was replaced. Um, there was a tail light that went out. I got that replaced one time. The headlight switch I got that replaced in uh, Midland um, a couple, about a month, not even a month ago. Um, there's a low beam that's out now. The high beams work, but the low beam for this van is out. So I got to get that fixed. I'll probably get that fixed before I trade it off to her. That way she has headlights. I don't want to do her like that. So I'll see if I, if I can afford it. I'll get some for her. Um, but yeah. It's been a very good van, you guys. Um, I mean, you guys know all, everywhere I've been to it. I bought it in Pennsylvania, drove down to, to Florida, then all the way to Alabama, Fort Payne, Alabama. And then I had to go all the way out to Lubbock, Texas. And then I drove out to Arizona, drove back to Pennsylvania, drove back to Texas, and then drove up to Colorado Springs, drove back to Texas, and then I drove all the way up to San Luis, Colorado, and then up to Denver, Colorado, and I'm here now a lot of driving that's how much driving i've done and a lot of the driving i've been doing has been long distance so um you know right psychotics right my crazy dogs thank you guys so much for watching this video it's, it's not much to talk about but i just want to tell you guys the good news and i also want to thank you guys also as well for supporting me um it's been tough it it, it has been the past two months has been really really hard for me everyone i've not everyone but a lot of people i've helped it has backfired on me and um so, you know i'm taking a break from that but i will continue it later i promise you guys um it's just it's been tough for me so i will be oopsies sorry about the noise in the background but every time i touch my phone it makes that that noise you hear um but i'll be i'll be getting back into it i think what i want to do like i said in my last video is I want to help the homeless by giving them encouraging letters. Like I said in my last video, it seems to be that being more um, influential has been more impactful, actually, I've seen on people. Not just the homeless, just anybody. And I may just, I, I might just do it even, not just on the homeless people, but just anybody, really. Um, because I think that would be important to do. Also, I'm doing the Honda series. I did a couple videos, but I need people to join me on some of my videos. So if you want to join me uh, on some of the videos, like we're doing the Stanley Hotel, we're gonna, we, uh, we have to do it because I was supposed to do it last year and I wasn't able to do it for financial reasons. But I got to do it this year. So I'm going to be getting it done this year. I have, I think at least, I think at least three people that are definitely going, I think, or at least two, I think. But everyone's welcome to join. They do have to pay their part for the rim. So if everyone pitches in, it's cheaper for everyone, right? Um, so we're going to be doing that. Um, Sometime in July, big early July, I want to say. And then I'm heading out to L.A. for work. And then I'm heading out from there. I got to go back to Alabama, unfortunately, because I got to get my um, plates done on the new van I'll be getting. So um, it's kind of annoying. I know. That's why I'm, 
I'm thinking about where I want to reside in next, but I should change my residence because I don't go to Alabama. I hate it out there. Um, I mean, I don't, it's beautiful out there. People are very, very nice, but God, are they stupid. <laughs> they are stupid people, but they're very nice. And I don't mind that. Get out of here, B. Get that B, boy. You get him. Get that B. Where'd it go? You want to get that B? <laughs> don't buy anything that moves, right, boy? <laughs> so listen, guys. I will. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm tired. I know it's daytime, but as you guys can see, I'm, I'm tired. It's been long. Been, uh, been, been tough. But things are finally looking up for me. I think. I feel like this is God's way of of watching out for me. Um, kind of giving me a break. I feel like. Um, you know. So we'll see you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, we're gonna do our best. To spread love and not hate as you guys know in some of my videos i'm not perfect got that i let you guys see that and, and part of it's because i want to be honest with you guys um i want to be transparent with y'all um i just want to be myself i don't want to hide who i am i don't want to give you guys that fake um version of me you know i don't want to live a double life i have my moments just like everyone else and i think that that's what's important to acknowledge and to to show you guys so in the meantime, I'm going to bed because I'm tired and I like that car. That car is super cool. So we'll see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, spread love and not hate. Cheers, everybody.